Hello and welcome everyone to the Open Confidential Computing Conference. My name is Phil Venables and I'm the Chief Information Security Officer of Google Cloud. In this role, I cover security, privacy, compliance, risk, and resilience. And additionally, I also run teams responsible for the security engineering of other elements of our technical infrastructure that underpin our wider Google services. And in all of these activities, confidential computing has and will ever more so play a big part. So it's fantastic to be here today. If you're attending OC3, you are standing among the pioneers who are defining the future of confidential computing. And what a journey it's been. Think back to 2019, when Google and a dozen or so partners took that leap of faith and founded the Confidential Computing Consortium. The progress we've made together since then is truly remarkable. The Triple C community has grown to over 50 members, and with them, confidential computing is gaining adoption across a broad set of industries. We've gone from a technology vision to mature products. Now, I know what is likely on everyone's mind today. It's AI, the transformative reality and ever bigger potential is everywhere. Through AI, we're reimagining aspects of healthcare, education, finance, and more. But as our customers and partners rightly ask, how can we further unlock this power while keeping our data safe and secure? From training foundation models to fine tuning and inference, the challenge is the same. How do we protect our most sensitive data and our intellectual property, making sure it remains private even when in use? But first, let's talk about the promise of confidential computing overall. Typically, we focus on confidentiality, isolation, and verifiability. Now, confidentiality, of course, means that data is encrypted and can only be decrypted by authorized parties. This prevents unauthorized users from accessing or viewing sensitive data. Now, isolation means that data is processed in a separate environment, which prevents it from being accessed by other processes and tenants, as well as the hypervisor. Now, this helps protect data from advanced attacks, infrastructure vulnerabilities, and even malicious insiders. Moving on to verifiability, a key aspect of confidential computing means that the integrity of the environment can be verified through attestation. This means that users can be confident that the data in the environment have not been tampered with or altered in any way. So what are the use cases that get unblocked by these security properties? First, as we like to say, with, with confidential computing, you can trust cloud more by having to trust it less. And confidential computing enables a new cloud trust model where you can be confident that your data stays private. Second, it enables whole new commercial collaboration outcomes where untrusting parties can work together on sensitive data while retaining their data ownership. And finally, organizations, including cloud providers themselves, use confidential computing to harden their internal infrastructure. For example, at Google, we're already using confidential computing internally in growing parts of our underlying infrastructure. So take, for example, Borg, the engine that powers Google services. We're actively running a growing number of Borg services on confidential computing, demonstrating real-world application and scalability of this technology. And this marks a significant milestone in even further increasing security defense in depth in our own infrastructure, as well as paving the way for broader adoption. So let's look at some more concrete examples of utilizing this technology across our external customers. So last year, we shared the profound impact confidential computing has had for companies like AstraZeneca, who are able to deliver better healthcare via remote technology and directly empower consumers to obtain preventative therapies without a physician's prescription through software as a medical device. Or Manita Go that uses confidential computing to detect duplicate financial fraud for global banks through secure cross-organization data analysis, something that was not possible otherwise due to stringent regulations and policies. And these are just two examples. Every day, we see more customers across fintech, Web3, manufacturing, telco, and beyond who are all actively deploying confidential computing to unlock new business capabilities and innovations. So this is why I'm so excited about the incredible potential of the new chapter of confidential computing and the inflection point we're facing with AI. So as AI gives organizations, big and small, new insights into their data 
accelerating growth and innovation, the need for data privacy and security has never been greater. So the first layer of concern lies in securing the data used to train AI models. As you all know, the training data can be vast and highly sensitive, encompassing everything from medical records to financial transactions. Now, protecting this data from unauthorized access, manipulation, or poisoning is absolutely paramount. And yet, traditional data security methods often fall short when dealing with highly sensitive training data in AI data sets, particularly when it comes to multiple parties who need to collaborate and work together on such training, as we saw in the examples before. Secondly, the trained models and their weight represent significant investments, not just for the cloud providers, but all users of AI, and they need to be protected as intellectual property that, that they are. Now, also, the need for data privacy and security has never been greater. And I don't think I'm alone with you here today when I say that this AI momentum is set to grow both traditional AI hardware use as well as confidential computing adoption across the board. Because what technology is better suited to tackle these security challenges than confidential computing? Now, confidential computing is the perfect pair to AI growth, and in fact, an important enabler of it. In the immediate future, we here at this conference can drive a significant acceleration of both. Furthermore, the regulatory landscape surrounding AI data privacy is rapidly evolving. Compliance with emerging regulations adds another layer of complexity to developing and deploying secure AI systems. But it's not just the regulatory risks. Many organizations are naturally hesitant to jump on a new technology, particularly when that poses risk to their sensitive data. Hence, a strong privacy-enhancing technology, such as confidential computing, can be an unblocker and an accelerator. And as you know, confidential computing offers a simple yet elegant solution that is uniquely poised to help address the challenges with AI security. So Google has always prioritized data privacy and security. It's ingrained in our products and processes. But when it comes to AI security challenges, these take on new dimensions. And so this is why we created the Secure AI frame Framework. SAFE, as we call it, is a, is a comprehensive approach to AI risk management and security based on our approach to the bold but responsible deployment of AI across our products and services. Now, with SAFE, We've defined and published an overall risk management framework and associated guidance and tools, many of which we embed into our AI products so you don't have to embed them yourselves. This helps organizations structure risk-managed approaches to AI deployment in their own organizations by setting up AI control practices with strong guardrails to ensure the protection of AI systems and software, and also defining data governance practices that mitigate risks through protecting training data, fine-tuning data, model weights and parameters, as well as the test data itself. Now, establishing an approach to do red team testing to simulate adversarial use of the AI implementation is important to ensure not just security, but the overall trust and safety in the system as a whole. And finally, developing control harnesses and quality checks that safeguard surrounding systems from any errors is also important. Now, we continue to refine SAFE and increase customers' ability to take advantage of it by making this as secure by default and secure by design way of interacting with our AI tooling, but also to look for higher assurance ways of implementing the models. And we believe, again, that confidential computing, together with this secure AI framework, will be what is needed to enable the long-term secure, privacy-oriented, and regulatory compliant use and deployment of AI for everybody. For confidential computing to become a truly widely adopted technology and an enabler for confidential AI, it needs to be ubiquitous in the tech stack and infrastructure, not just for VMs, but for all cloud services, and that means at cloud scale. And this, again, is paramount for AI because AI is becoming a dramatic consumer of compute resources, both for training and serving models. It needs to be secure because no security is perfect and we need to continue innovating and pushing the boundaries here. We need to be confident in confidential computing. And it needs to be available. Confidential computing services should not be limited to a handful of countries or regions or machines with limited mem memory. It needs to be omnipresent. And so let me kind of briefly expand on, uh, on these three points. First, the journey towards secure AI and data privacy doesn't stop at confidential VMs. We're making a big commitment to push the boundaries of confidential computing, extending its reach far beyond virtual machines. 
We're on a mission to achieve confidential everything, a future where all data across all of our services can remain protected even while in use, regardless of what service or workload you're using. Now, this includes extending confidential computing to GPUs, which as everyone will know, is a critical resource for AI and machine learning. And this technology helps to protect sensitive data and proprietary AI models from unauthorized access, even while they're being used for training or inference. Then we believe that building trust requires openness and transparency, and that's why collaboration lies at the heart of our approach to confidential computing. We actively participate in security research, working alongside industry leaders like AMD and Intel to ensure that confidential computing meets our high security bar. And as an example of such collaboration, we partnered with both AMD and Intel and had our security teams work together in auditing firmware and hardware that makes confidential computing possible. And this outcome was published in public reports last year, uh, so all of our discovered vulnerabilities were addressed and everybody got to see that research. And this isn't just about shared technology, it's about doing that, sharing that knowledge and best practices with everyone. We actively contribute to the Triple C community, sharing those research findings and keep sharing those security and insights to the benefit of not just the Triple C, but the entire industry. Uh, but our commitment to collaboration extends beyond the Triple C. We believe in partnering with our customers and partners to unlock the full potential of confidential computing. And by working together, we can address industry-specific challenges, develop innovative solutions, and avoid lock-in, and ultimately build a future where confidential computing is the norm for every workload and process. For us, confidential computing is here and now, and it's delivering value today. We provide best-in-class regional availability for confidential compute that spans the globe, empowering you to deploy your secure workloads and AI models wherever you need them. We also enable access to the largest confidential compute-enabled VMs in the industry, providing both breadth and depth. And this allows you to tackle the most demanding workloads while keeping your data protected. Back in 2016, Sundar Pichai pronounced Google to be an AI-first company, and we've been deeply investing and advancing the field through cutting-edge research and development, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. But equally so, as founding members of the Confidential Computing Consortium, you could quite equivalently say that we're also a confidential-first company. We've taken a comprehensive approach and made confidential computing a part of securing AI because we know that data privacy and security is foundational to securing AI. So today I'd like to invite you here in the audience to join us in exploring and adopting confidential computing as part of your very own AI initiative because together we can make a big impact. The dawn of secure AI promises a future of extraordinary collaboration. And with security at its bedrock, AI stands poised not to replace human capabilities, but to magnify them for the benefit of everybody. And with the right security in place, AI becomes a force multiplier for good. So I hope you have a fantastic conference. There are many outstanding sessions to attend here, including those listed here. Now, we look forward to partnering with all of you on the journey to pervasive confidential computing. Thank you for coming to this session. Stay secure and have a great rest of OC3.